What's up, YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. Hope everybody's doing well out there on this Friday. I'm doing good myself, you understand? Shabbat Shalom to all of the brothers and sisters in recognition to observing this day for the Most High. Sundown this evening to sundown tomorrow evening. Let's get some worship and praises in. Let's observe and recognize this real special day for the Most High. You understand? We need to do that. All the other days, you know, like here in this system, you know what I mean? Whatever day that they, they always want to recognize it, that don't mean nothing. Let's recognize, you know, this day for the Most High. Uh, <clears throat> this particular commentary ain't going to have no articles and nothing like that. And of course, basically, this is going to be a, uh, so to speak, a little, well, how can I say it? I'm going to put this sister in her place. You understand? And that's just all there is to it. What she did was irreprehensible. See, this is irreprehensible. You're a nice looking woman. You understand? You don't have to get out here and do shit like this. Keep this big ass bus window covered. You understand what I mean? Because that's just what it looked like. A big ass bus window. The little divider and stuff like that. You got kids looking at you, girl. You understand? Lenzo. Lenzo. You understand? Now, somebody might say, I'm fat shaming and all that old kind of shit. I'm any kind of shaming. Because see, not only that, this woman is the one that decided to go to that basketball game looking in, like she looking. And doing what she doing. See, if you go anywhere, it was back in the day you do some shit like this, you going to get fat shamed, as they call it to this day. But you actually, you shaming yourself. Ain't no sense in this. Ain't no sense in this shit right here. Lizzo, whatever your name is. I know that's, you know, you, you that's not your real name, you know. Your little entertainment name. You need to stop letting these people prop you up to make a spectacle of yourself. Get your shit together, girl. You understand that? You really need to get yourself together. Ain't nothing cute about this shit. It's a time and place for everything. And that game wasn't the place for that shit. You understand? You got yourself a man and you want to get down, you know what I mean, in the privacy of your own home with that man. You want to do something like this, then be all, go ahead and do it, you know? Go ahead and do it. But you got your ass out here in public. And these people are laughing at you. They laughing at you. See? Just a big bus, a big bus window. And I was looking for the passengers. The driver, where they at? That's a goddamn shame. See? Don't blame me for talking about your ass. Don't blame nobody else for talking about your ass. You did this. You did this. See? This don't make no damn sense. And hopefully you be you 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 develop some shame behind this shit. See, cause shame will make your ass a better person. Shame will make you respect yourself. You understand what I mean? And respect others. If you disrespect everybody that you run into. How in the world do you think anybody's going to respect you? Look that damn song up. That's the staple singers. You need to learn to respect yourself, girl. This ain't, this ain't respecting yourself. And don't get mad at me because I call that, that uh, a big bus window. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. I ain't lying. I seen them old 1956 bus. Them buses and shit like that. Driver, passengers and shit like that. With the dividers. Watch the movie The Bronx Tale. Look at that damn bus window that Robert De Niro was driving. <laughs> but look, all jokes aside, look, sister, don't do this. Don't disrespect yourself. Don't disrespect others. Don't make a spectacle of yourself and give these low lowlifes something to laugh at you about and talk about. You know, money's not worth it. Because I can assure you, 
when you get up in age, you understand, you look back over your life, you're going to cry about this shit. You're going to cry about it. You understand? That's pretty much all I got to say on it. I just wanted to get my take on it, you understand, and, and what have you. And if, Lizzo, if you get offended behind this shit, and if it hurts you, good. Hopefully it caused your ass to be shamed. Then next time you'll think before you do something so ludicrous. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation. I'm interested in hearing y'all thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please remember to live your life as though we are being watched simply because we are. And that goes for you too, Lizzo. They see what you're doing. They watching. See? But this is James, and I'm out. Peace.